Alrighty, let's play this here. You got three loops. All right, and then <laughs> and <gasps> cool. One of your questions in email is in terms of which angle. This one has a pretty good silhouette overall until the ends, where it's almost like you would end in something like this. Just this feels a bit weird. Might also be the camera angle and the the foreshortening. It's not too shabby though. Like this isn't as dynamic as even this. Even though this, I will probably bring that arm out here, maybe increase the negative space here on this one as a starting frame. If you look at this one, where are we here? This just feels, <clears throat> it doesn't tell us much. I would also lighten up the the shadow bit so it's not like super dark and black, just like 50% uh, between this color and this color. <clears throat> and then the other one, let me just see beginnings. Like this one seems cool. Even though this, I'll probably still bring it out a bit more for negative space. You don't really have a really good color silhouette, but it does kind of work black in front of that dark red, but I'll probably bring this out a bit more, but at least you have a clear silhouette with the limbs here. I will probably lean him back a bit more so that you have potentially, uh, you could even lean out, but then that way you have a bit more that kind of idea with a bit of a, of a curve with my horrible drawing. But that way it doesn't feel so twins. There's a slight offset with this, but I think you could push that a bit more. Now let me just see if you do this from this angle. Then with this, I will probably end with something where this could be a bit further back and this leg a bit further front. And again, bringing out those arms potentially a bit more. That's my fantastic drawing here. <laughs> um, but I think that would be a cleaner silhouette. I think all of these ends, well, this one has a cool ending. That's a strong triangle pose where it just feels very strong. So it's a bit tricky and you're asking which angle would you choose? I mean, <clears throat> one thing you can do is start either like this or like that. It's almost like you want to start with this and end with that. Like you would have to change the animation at the end when he takes that step to be a much broader step to be in that kind of pose like here. Where is it? There. But camera will be behind him. If that makes sense. Now, there is reference for this here. And that's that would be my overall point. If you watch the reference, there's a bit of sound there. I should bring it back from the beginning. It's interesting. I kind of like this one where he lands and has bam one more stance versus landing and one more turn like that. Feels a bit too much. And here, same thing here. Even though it's cool that he's from the back and kind of looking looking this way it's kind of neat i would go with this but the main thing is like look at how fast he is that's a great pull look at that so cool so fast that section here so my main thing is that it feels like you have the idea of he does the twist and especially then stabilizes this like we still are up here and it's the leg that does all the all the turning and then that that swing is what brings him around for the landing i think that's cool the thing is though is that this is your initial one right and then you have that it still feels a tad slow i think you could speed it up a little bit especially for games animation it's a bit faster it just feels a bit slow I mean, if it's, you know, if it's an action, you have to think about if you initiate and you push, push the button to get into that quickly. But that's, that's me kind of saying something. That's not my field. But the thing is that you did submit a 30 frames per second. And <clears throat> basically what you did was you stretched out the frames. But what you're going to have to do is this is still the same action within one frame. You just have more, more frames to your disposal. So stretching it out from 24 to 30 is just going to slow it down. 
depends how you did the conversion, but that's, that's how I interpret it from your email. So looking at this, I would just go a bit faster. Let me see here. Video, we should have a speed, playback speed. It's increased, but it doesn't give me a percentage number. I just know it's faster. See, that to me works a bit better. Whereas this feels fast, I would slow this down. If you go, whatever this is, I don't know how much faster it is. I'm, I don't know, sorry. This doesn't give me a, uh, this doesn't give me anything. If I go back here, it still tells me all of that here. I mean, I guess it's, ah, oh, here actually, it says when you push play, I should have seen this a long time ago. <laughs> it's, it's down here, 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 and you play. 1.25, 25% faster, quarter faster. So that feels a bit fast, just that move over there. Unless you're going for a bit of a stylized swoop with a bigger, bigger anticipation. But then, then I like this at that speed, but then this feels fast right there. That recovery feels fast. Because you're also saying you're going for a bit more realistic animation. Just again, checking your email here. So I, to me, it feels like you want to slow this down a bit. This is cool. And this is a bit fast. So this step probably stick within regular speed. What is this? Let's decrease this. We're back to one. Anticipation feels good. This feels just a bit slow. And then the recovery feels okay. That would be uh, there. That would be my subjective view on this. I think what you could also do is potentially just push that anticipation a bit more. It could potentially go down a bit with this root. Right now, it feels like it's just purely a translate back. They should have a little bit of an arc like this. If you're pivoting off of a leg to this to lean over a bit, you're going to have a little bit of an arc like this. But you can also just go down and go up again. I mean, you can do all kinds of things where you push the anticipation a bit more, even posing wise, potentially. Not that you have to do the whole cartoon thing of one leg up like that, but you could potentially push certain things, or he could, with his head, almost look at the target already and then go back into a pose like this with maybe the head down a bit more. I think you can make that stuff a bit more dynamic. I do kind of like that double arm preparation swing there, just over there. That's kind of neat. Other than that, like on this angle, you could potentially push the shoulder up a bit more so that that arm is a bit more like that on the head. Cleaner silhouette. Just push your... Like even here, I don't feel the shoulder being pushed. Or just engage those shoulders a bit more. And then get some more hand poses in there. So it's a default. And then there's some moments where... Like there's an overall momentum this way. And as you go up, you go this way, and then we're kind of stuck. It just kind of starts to drop straight, and I would still somewhat continue that forward momentum that you initiated on this, or during this section here. Here it just feels like you, we're suddenly stopping, and then do this. There's a little bit of forward through here, it's better. Just make sure it's that is consistent there. And then on your landing, same thing, if you look at your route, you're going this way. And then bam, now we're suddenly stopping. Right there, it's a bit of a pause. So to me, it feels like with that far momentum, we would be, we could even turn a bit more and, and that will give you that backwards, that's my awesome foot, by the way, that backwards stance with him looking over the shoulder and arms down. Look at this drawing. This is fantastic. Absolutely great. Three and a half years of art school. <laughs> anyway. I think that would be that, based on what, I, what we talked about before, what I talked about before. The different angles you had with the other shot, with the three different versions. If you go with this, which I don't mind, I don't mind this angle here. I would just end it as something a bit more dynamic and not with that. So that feels a bit weird. All right. I hope that makes sense. Um, there's some other stuff in your email. I'm just going to write an answer there and uh, you let me know what you think. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.